All right. So you got an old boombox at a garage sale, or maybe off eBay. Nine times out of ten, you go to put a tape in. What the fuck is the eject button? Right here. You go to put a tape in. And it doesn't work. It doesn't play. What the fuck? So what do you do? You can't take it back. So you're stuck with this. You're basically stuck with just a radio and a non-functioning tape player. I mean, what can you do with this slot now? It's totally useless. You can't put a CD in it, can you? No. It won't work. You can't put a CD in it. You can't put a Nintendo game in it. You can't put a beer in it. So what do you do? The only choice is you gotta fix it. Guess what? I'm gonna show you how. Of course, you're probably thinking, who uses tapes anymore? Everybody uses CDs and stuff. Guess what? I like tapes. Tapes are durable. You can take one and throw it on the floor, just like that. Fucking kick it. It'll still work. So, I mean, don't abandon the tape. Tapes are still good. They still play music, providing you have a good thing to play it on. So anyway, let's fix this thing. First thing you're going to want to do, turn it over. And I'm not going to do a demonstration to show you how to remove screws. I think you're smart enough to do, figure that out yourself. But the one thing I want to show you is sometimes these guys like to hide screws down in here, inside the battery door. So let's take the screws out, and we'll come right back, and I'll show you what we can find in there. Right? Right? Another place you might want to hide a screw is right underneath the antenna on this particular model. The handle. And this screw right here, you don't have to take that one out. That just holds the antenna in. Okay, now we got the back off. And you can kind of see what's going on in here. Now, I'll show you something interesting. Look on the back of, uh, you can't really see it, but the motor is right here. And I can't read it through the camera, but it says, it's got a date on it. It says 84, so you can figure out the year of your boombox. Now, 9 times out of 10, what's going to be wrong is the belt is going to be broken. Because this thing is so old, the rubber deteriorates. So, here's the belt right here. And what you gotta do is you gotta find see magnet stick to the speaker right here. See it? You gotta find uh, another belt. You can either get it off of uh, MCM Electronics or you can do a search on the internet, find out where you can get a belt. You gotta take these screws out here. These ones right here. On this particular model, you have to take this off. And all you got to do is kind of figure out where the belt is routed. Put the belt back on. And there you go. You're done. Alright, we're just going to take this motor assembly up here. See? There's a the motor pulley. And that's where it's got to go. Right around that. I already fixed this one, so this belt's okay. So all you got to do is just kind of thread it back around there. Then put this back on. See, I'm, I can't really do this with one hand. I'm trying to hold the camera. But all you gotta do is thread it back around that motor pulley, which is right there. Put it back together. Make sure it spins. Make sure the motor pulley spins when you turn this. Put it back together, and it should work. Another thing you're gonna, gonna want to pay attention to in here while you got the hood open. This is function switch right here. Sometimes this thing gets dirty. You get like squealing, crackling noises. So what you want to do is you take some contact cleaner. You can get a Radio Shack or automotive store. Or you could use rubbing alcohol. Just kind of get it inside here a little bit. You know, take a cotton swab or spray it in here, whatever. Work it back and forth a few times and that'll clean it right out. That'll take care of any of your noises you might get when you hit the play button. 
Okay, so providing your cat didn't just knock all the screws all over the place and you could find them all, you can give it a try. Yeah. Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. This is my favorite one. So there you have it. That's how you fix one of these fuckers. So what are you waiting for? Go fix it.